Hello and welcome to the HTML5 and CSS3 video tutorial series. Uh, in these videos I'll be um, showing you how to use HTML code and CSS to build your own website. So in this first video we'll have a quick look at what you need to get started to begin coding your web pages um, and how to set up your first page. So to get started you need a text editor to type your code into and save your code. And I'm using Sublime Text 2 on a Mac, but um, there's a few different programs that you can use. So firstly, Notepad++ is a really popular text editor for coding, and it's free, um, but it's only available on Windows, so you can't use this on Mac. So Notepad++ if you're a PC user. If you're using Mac, uh, then Sublime Text is really cool and I'm using Sublime Text 2, but there's also a new version 3 coming out. Um, and also on Mac is Text Wrangler. So that's also um, a really cool uh, app for coding, putting your coding to and saving your work. And that's also free in the Mac App Store. So I'm going to use Sublime Text 2. Um, that's what I'll be using for this series. But whichever program you use, they're all fairly similar um, and do most of the same thing. So to create a web page, we're going to be using HTML. And HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So the, the files that we create and save will be HTML files and they'll end in .html. So that's the first thing that we need to do here is we need to save this blank document as a HTML file. So usually click on file or new file, but I've already got a new empty file open. So I'm going to save it into my folder. So I've got a folder for my um, web page, and I'm going to give it a name and with your home page. Um, so your, the main page on your website, you need to call that index.html. So you can name your pages what you like. For example, um, aboutus.html or contactus.html. But your home page should always be index.html. So it needs to be saved as a HTML file. Um, if you're using something like Notepad++ on Windows, there might also be an option to save as a file type and you need to pick hypertext markup language from the list. So I'll click on save. Um, so this is the home page. And in HTML, it's made up of tags, so HTML tags, which are also known as elements. And tags basically, um, they're used for markup. So they tell the br browser how to display content, for example, text and images. And sometimes there's single tags, but usually there's um, double tags. So HTML is written in tags and the first tag I'm going to use is the doc type tag. So we put an angle bracket or a less than symbol sign and an exclamation mark and then doc type HTML. And basically what that does is it tells um, the browser de declares what type of HTML document this is. So it tells it that this is going to be a HTML5 document. Okay, so the browser now knows that this is a HTML document. Um, the next thing that we need to use is the HTML tag to actually say this is where the HTML code starts. Okay, so it begins with an angle bracket, the less than sign, and ends with the greater than sign. So that's our first HTML tag and we need a closing tag which has a forward slash in it and then HTML. So we have our first tag and then our closing tag. So in between these two tags will be our actual HTML code. So the content that's actually going to be on the web page. Okay. And the HTML tag is also known as the root element. Okay. Because all content goes inside these tags. Um, now the HTML or web page is actually broke up into two different sections. 
The first is called the head and the second is called the body. So we use a head tag and we close off that head tag. And inside the head section is basically just background information about the website. So one thing that we can put in there, and it's usually good just to indent your code. One thing that we can put in there is the page title. So something like my first web page. And we close that off with the title tag as well with that forward slash there. Okay, so we have the opening tag and the closing tag for title. And inside those two tags, those double tags, is the actual title of the web page. Okay, so that's something that we can put in the head section. The other section is the body section. Okay, so we need to close that off as well. And basically inside the body section, so inside these two tags, that's where all the content is going to go that is actually visible to the user. So the content that the user sees goes inside these two tags. So your heading, your paragraph, paragraphs of text, um, menus, images, everything that the user sees goes inside the body usually. Okay. So in HTML, we use a number of different tags to display content. And one of those tags is the paragraph tag, which we'll start with today. And that simply is P inside the less than and greater than sign. So this is my first web page. Put that as a text inside the paragraph and then use the closing paragraph tag. Okay, so that that's our first bit of content and that's inside the body tags. Another thing that you could add to the head section is this meta char set, which won't make much sense to start with, but meta char set utf-8 and then close that off. So this is just a single tag. It doesn't need a double tag, so it's a single tag. And basically what um, what this is doing is it's telling the browser to include, um, so to use this character set, UTF-8, which means it will include all characters that are available to be used by a web page. So um, including all sorts of weird characters that aren't on your actual keyboard. So include that in the head of every page um, and um, it means that we're going to in include all the characters, um, even the ones that aren't on our keyboard. So using that meta char set and also using doc type, um, if you left that out, it doesn't necessarily mean that your web page won't work, but it is following a standard. Um, okay, so this is a basic web page and we can save it. So on my Mac, I can hold down command S to save, or I could just go to file and save. Um, and then I can right click and click on open in browser. And there you go. So we have the paragraph content. So this content inside the body section that says this is my first web page. And then also up here on the tab, um, we have the title of the web page. So my first web page. So we have the title here, which displays in the tab. And then the paragraph here, which displays in the body of our web page. Okay, so uh, what we've looked at today is basically how to get started. So um, downloading and using a text editor to type our HTML5 code and how to set up a basic HTML document. Now, what you might like to do is create a HTML document like this and keep it and save it as a template that you can use for your future HTML um, files. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at um, uh, formatting the text in our paragraphs and also how to add uh, headings and other content. Thanks for watching.